welcome to the Hist Lord. You join us here on a very busy junction of East Cheap and Rood Lane. And today we're going to be talking about the old church that's just behind me. This is called Margaret Patton. Now there's been a church here since, I think it's about 1087 the first church was built here. And that was destroyed uh, about 1530, rebuilt in 1538 and again destroyed in the Great Fire of London, 1666. And then this was one of Wren's creations. I think finally finished in about 1687. But it's called Margaret Patton for a very specific reason. And that's what we're gonna tell you about today. Welcome to London. St Margaret Patton's ceased to be a parish church in 1954 but became one of the city guild churches and as such it's still under the jurisdiction of the Bishop of London. There's a regular weekday rather than Sunday congregation service and it, mostly it's drawn from office workers in the nearby towers and offices around the city. It also now accommodates an office for the Archdeacon of Hackney. It was on the 4th of January 1950 the church gained Grade 1 listed status and protection. The reason being the exterior is notable for its 200 feet high spire and that was Wren's third highest in the city and only one that he designed in the medieval style, sometimes referred to as Wren's only true spire. The interior is simple and rectangular and it does have a few unusual fittings like some of the only canopied pews in London. They date back from the 17th century. They've got the initials CW on the side and that could have stood for Christopher Wren but equally it could have also stood for Church Warden. Who knows? There's also a punishment box carved with the devil's head where wrongdoers had to sit during various church services. The name of St Margaret Patton derives from patterns, wooden soled overshoes. Patterns provided protection for your normal everyday shoes. They are worn in Europe from the Middle Ages right up until the early part of the 20th century, would you believe. They were worn over your normal shoes and they were usually made of wood and later had metal soles and they were held in place by leather or cloth bands. Patterns functioned to elevate your feet above the mud and the dirt, particularly the human and animal effluent that was on the street at the time. Parishioners would be asked to remove their patterns before entering the church. So there you are. That is what a pattern is. A pattern is so you can keep your shoes out the, sh out the mire. Out the mire. I wasn't going to say something rude. Honestly, I wasn't. Yeah, it keeps your shoes out the mud and all the um, horse dung that's on the streets. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. Do hope you enjoy these videos. We certainly enjoy making them for you. And if you want to see what we do outside of the TikTok and YouTube, then please go to historylord.co.uk, see about the walking tour of London, or have a look at Last Line Films. That's James's YouTube and TikTok channel as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you very soon. It's a bit noisy around here, James. I think it's nearly lunchtime. So let's head this direction. We've got a few more videos to make and uh, you can treat me to a wagamama. Other restaurants are available. <laughs>